Hello everybody, welcome back to another weekly vlog. We're starting off a new week. It is currently Monday and I did not upload a weekly vlog last week. I filmed a whole weekly vlog, but again, I was having issues with the audio, which just, oh my gosh. So I've been trying to figure out which settings work the best for me on my new camera and i thought that i had it figured out but then when i was editing the footage i indeed did not have it figured out so i'm trying to sort that but in the meantime i am just going to be filming back on my regular main camera because i just cannot deal with that that would have been two vlogs in a row because I didn't like the audio like two weeks ago that vlog and then I didn't like the audio on what was supposed to be last week's vlog and I just I was just too frustrated with it to even edit it and try to figure that out um so yeah that is the story on that I'm trying to think of nothing really crazy even happened in that vlog so y'all didn't miss out on much I did some stuff in the garden I harvested my potatoes, which was very fun. So I have three different types of potatoes. I've already eaten some of them. I made a stunning potato salad. It was so delicious. So that was really nice. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I harvested from the garden that's exciting? I don't think so. I've been eating more beans and just things that you've already seen me harvest. The potatoes was just the new fun thing. I guess I could throw that footage in. Maybe I'll just pop the potato footage in because I don't really need sound for it. So cool. 
Other than that, it was a pretty chill week. I spent most of the week just doing regular, you know, work stuff, going for walks with the dogs, um, cooking and reading. I actually didn't spend a lot of time reading, um, but I did finish Babel. I actually just finished this a few days ago as of now, or no, did I just finish it yesterday? I finished it a couple days ago, I think. Um, so I was, saying in that vlog that I wanted to finish Babel and I did, but I'm gonna be updating in this vlog now. So um, yeah, oh my goodness, this, it feels like quite a feat to have finished this because it is a chunky book and it has, it's very dense and dark and academic in the way that it's written. Um, so it is um, tedious to get through, I guess I would say. This has 542 pages. So this is definitely the longest book that I've read in a while. Um, and it took me almost all month. It took me three weeks, more just maybe a little bit over three weeks to finish reading this. And I'm not a fast reader and I haven't been dedicating a lot of time to reading, unfortunately. I really wanted to in August, but um, I'm not getting very far through my TBR, am I? Um, but I did finish Babel. Oh. Okay, sorry, I just had a package at the door. But yeah, Babel, I don't even know if I, if my thoughts are fully formed on this yet or if I could even assign a star rating to it. It's such a complex, sweeping, important, emotional story. However, I, can't i have to be honest and say that i did not enjoy a lot of my time reading this some of my time i really did enjoy but a lot of it was just too too academic and too info dumpy for me and i felt like my eyes were just kind of glazing over i really appreciate this book for what it is and i'm glad that i read it and i kind of knew that i was gonna feel this way that's why i was so intimidated about to read this book but I knew I wanted to read it and I'm glad that I did. So yeah, I will say that I'm very keen to check out more of RF Kuang's work. Um, I'll probably read Yellowface next. I feel like that since it's written in more of like a thriller kind of style, I think that that might be more my speed. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to check that one out. But yeah, that is my little reading update on this one. Um, probably the most intense book like the most the longest and most intense book <laughs> that i've read this year now i've had to kind of review my august tbr today is literally the 27th is it oh my gosh we're literally almost oh my gosh this is like the last few days of august ah oh, so i've had to review my august tbr and figure out what book I want to read next. So I had three more summary kind of books on my list, but I've had to, but I've had to narrow that down obviously. And I was going to read Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. That's, that was what I really wanted to read next. But my library loan lapsed because I was, took so long to read Babel. The library line is way too long. I'm not gonna be able to get my hands on that in the next probably couple of months, honestly. Um, so I thought about buying it and I'm kicking myself because it was on sale for a Kobo daily deal. I think it was $3.99, um, but now it's back to full price and it's like $20. And I'm just kind of like, I have other summer books that I currently own that I should just go ahead and read rather than buying another one. So I picked a different summer book off of my TBR. This is what I'm gonna be starting next. Um, this is gonna be my one like summary read and then i'm gonna be going full force into my fall kind of horror thriller vibes but the book that i'm going to be reading this week is mary jane by jessica anya blau and i chose this one because obviously i i own it and i've owned this since christmas time so i've had it for a while now i've heard such good things about this book and i feel like I just feel like I could really use this story right now. I don't know. It sounds fun. It sounds like a book that is just maybe going to 
give a different perspective on things or kind of like make you reflect about things. I don't know. I think that it's going to be a fun read. Quick little summary. This takes place in the 1970s. It follows our main character, Mary Jane, who has co comes from a very like conservative kind of sheltered family and she ends up getting a nannying job for i think a local doctor a local psychiatrist so she goes to their home and it's just like a complete it's complete madness everything is in disarray and they have this like rock star and his movie star wife staying with them because they're trying to get clean so it's she's just like coming from this very sheltered life and thrown into chaos and like seeing a completely new world and just being exposed to something completely different it's a coming of age story and yeah i've heard really great things so i'm gonna squeeze that in in august as my final summer read so yeah that's my reading update and the intro to this vlog i don't really have much else to say i'm in the middle of filming a video right now for my main channel um i have editing to do later today it's just gonna be a very um just filming and editing kind of day for me i have stuff that i need to get done deadlines that i'm trying to meet so yeah it's gonna be really heavy on the editing after i get finished editing this video that i'm filming right now i or sorry did i just say editing this video that i'm filming right now after i get finished filming right now i have to edit this video the one that i'm currently working on for my main channel i have to uh, edit a patreon video and i have to edit another main channel video that's going to be going up right away so i have three videos that need to be edited so yeah the next today tonight and tomorrow is mostly just going to be editing heavy so yeah it's very rainy and gloomy here still the sun is starting to come out a tiny but it's like barely it's very um cloudy still it's been raining pretty much all day so we're still in the just like cozy rainy vibes over here which is really nice but yeah that is all I have to say right now, so I will catch up with y'all later. Saw you paint a picture of a place Face I wasn't even close to mine I know I shouldn't be in love But it's so hard to move on You haven't changed, you stayed the same But if you did, I'd still love you anyway <laughs> 
rune in the non-stick with this. It shouldn't be a shame. Yeah, I know. It should be with something softer. Oh, I hope it's baked enough. Uh-oh. It looks underbaked. Oh, no. Give me it. Give me it. You want it still? Underbaked? What do you mean? It's under... It's not fully... It's soft. Is it? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Hello everybody! It has been a couple of days. Well, I filmed making the lemon loaf last night and we all saw how that went. It actually turned out fine. Um, it's weird. I seem to be very hit or miss with the lemon loaf. I thought it was ready, but <laughs> I guess it, it was not and I had to put it back in the oven. Um, but it turned out good. It's actually delicious. Like that was a really good one. Um, but yeah, so you saw that clip, but I haven't really sat down and chatted on the vlog for two days now. The I started this vlog like speaking to you on Monday. It is now currently Wednesday and I have just been um, just filming and editing. I was working on a few videos this week. I had a bigger patreon video that was like a week long thing that i had to edit and get posted and i've also been working on a sponsor for my main channel um so i've just been busy with that stuff oh i also moved one of my plant cabinets into the bedroom so that's what's behind me why it looks different that video would already be up on my main channel um but yeah i love it it looks i thought it would look more like vibey on camera but it kind of just looks aggressive like how bright it is but it looks really cute and it's like super cozy in person <laughs> but on the camera it just looks very bright um anyway since it's been a couple of days i just wanted to pop on i just got out of the bath i'm about to just do all of my nighttime stuff it's 7.43, so it's pretty early, but I'm just planning on having an early night. I'm gonna crawl into bed pretty quick and just do some more reading. I'm actually, you're not gonna believe this because normally I'm so slow at reading books, but I'm almost done this. I'm almost done Mary Jane. I just started this on Monday and I'm gonna finish it tonight. I am, you can see how far through I am. I'm on page, um, 273 and there's like 314 pages or something so yeah i'm definitely gonna finish this tonight this is so good y'all this is everything that i needed especially after reading Babel, which was such just like an intense journey this is quick fun i am laughing out loud at this it's so refreshing to be in the mind of this 14 year old girl who's just like experiencing so many things for the first time oh my goodness it is so fun i absolutely love this it's gonna be five stars for sure i'm so glad that i picked this up as my like last kind of summer read and you know what i've even been thinking that 
maybe you know I've always thought like oh I would never want to read a summer book in like the fall or the winter but I've been like it's I've been mentally in the fall vibes but reading this really like summery fun book it's it's great like I'm not mad at it so I'm like maybe I can still just read my summer books whenever I don't know why in my brain I'm like feel so I'm like no you have to read like what books are matching with the season but yeah i adore all of the characters in this i think that it is so well done and yeah it's just been honestly like a pleasure to read probably one of the most just like fun tender just light-hearted books that i've read in a long time found family if you love found family that is like a big thing that this whole book is basically about found family and being accepted into a new family. It also has themes of just finding yourself and feeling accepted and feeling free and kind of challenging um, maybe ways of thinking that you were brought up with that you kind of start to realize maybe don't, maybe don't align with you, maybe are a little bit unwell and you can kind of embrace a different way of thinking. Um, so yeah, I have been just having a great time with this. I can't remember the last time I read a book in like two or three days. That's so crazy to me. So it's really cool that I'm going to be finishing this tonight and then I will be able to start another book. Imagine if I can get another book done by the end of the month. That would be pretty awesome. Um, don't know if I will. Maybe I'm thinking of... I don't know maybe I'll do just like a thriller next or I don't know I actually did just take a few minutes to kind of try to start putting together my September TBR I cannot believe just how fast we're approaching the end of the month like it's so crazy um so even the book of the month picks for September dropped today I haven't even picked mine out yet or really looked at them closely uh, I think I'm going to do that right now actually I'll get cozy in bed. I'll look at the book of the month picks and then I'll finish reading my book. But yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, we're like almost in September. That is just wild. So, so I wanted to start just picking out some books that I want to prioritize to read next month. Now, obviously I'm not going to be reading all of these, but you know what I really liked was is just like for last month, for example, I didn't read all of my picks. I didn't read two or three of them. I only read two of them. Wait, yeah, I literally only read two of them. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But I only had like five of them picked and one of them I'm carrying over to September and I kind of had a feeling I would have to do that. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I kind of like just kind of curating a selection of books for me to pick from. Then I can just choose whichever one I'm in the mood for, but they're all just kind of like books that I'm like, oh, I, this would be, I'd like to read this in September. Um, for whatever reason. I'm not going to talk a lot about the books because I don't want this to be going on forever but I'll just show you some of the ones that I'm going to be that are going to be like on my priority list. Um, so Brutes, I think I'm going to read this. I'd like to read it right away actually. It just gives kind of like end of summer vibes to me. I talked about that in my uh, book haul that I posted a few weeks ago. Next, Starling House. This is a book of the month pick from sometime last year, like last fall or winter, I think. Wait, it'll say right on her. October, last October. So I've literally almost had this on my shelf for a whole year. And I've heard this is really good. I really want to read it. So hopefully I get to that this fall. I keep hearing everyone talk about this one. Incidents Around the House by Josh Mallerman. This is supposed to be super scary. Like I just keep hearing people talk about how this is actually scary. So that definitely intrigues me. And for that reason, I have it on my list. Okay, my memory card was full. So if the angle is a little bit different, that's why. But I bought us 10 more minutes. Next on my list is Dark and Shallow Lies. Stunning cover on that one. Another book of the month pick, What Lies in the Woods by K. Alice Marshall, thriller. Another book of the month thriller, Listen for the Lie. I've heard a lot of really good things about that book as well. Oh, I thought this would be fun and it's just like a quick, like a shorter one. Um, what Moves the Dead by T. King Fisher. And I also have the next one, 
which I can't remember what it's called. Well, what Feast at Night, that's the next one. I have that on my Kobo. And then I thought that this would be nice, just like cozy vibes to break up all the kind of thriller and horror that I have on my list. And that is the Spell Shop. I hauled this a few weeks ago as well. It is stunning and I could really go for a nice cozy fantasy. So that would be really lovely. And then the last one on my list, this is on my August TBR and I bumped it to my September TBR, The God of the Woods by Liz Moore. This is the book of the month pick for me last month, I think, July 2024. And again, this is a book that I keep hearing people talk about. I've heard a lot of good things, so I am excited to get to this one probably soon. I'm a little intimidated because I think that there's a lot to keep track of, like different characters and stuff. Um, so that does intimidate me a little bit, but I think it's going to be fine and I am really excited to read it. So those are books that you will potentially see me reading over the next months. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. I don't even know what I'm going to read next. I do have a thriller on my Kobo right now um, that I borrowed through Libby, but it was like the fast. Sometimes they give you a skip the line option and I just took it because I was like, oh, maybe I'll have time to read it. But I think I only have a, like a two or three more days left on that loan, but it's for the couple. The New Couple in 5B, I think is what it's called. And that's a thriller that I've heard some people talk about. Um, so I might try to read that next in just a couple of days, um, which could potentially be possible. I'll have to see. Maybe I can turn my Wi-Fi off and see if it stays on my Kobo. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, that's my little check-in. Other than that, not too much has been going on on i harvested i'm getting a lot of nice cherry tomatoes from my garden lately um and i'm still getting beans i think that my spaghetti squash is pretty much ready as well i haven't picked one yet but i think i'll be able to do that soon um and what else nothing else has really been i've been walking every single day with the dogs which has been really nice and other than that not doing too much we are going away this weekend um just like a low key um to the place that we usually go to up near tofino um so that'll be a nice relaxing weekend which is great so tomorrow i'm gonna have to water my plants and get all ready for that um and i'll upload this vlog before we leave because I learned, I've learned the hard way before that the Wi-Fi there is shite for uploading on YouTube. So I'll make sure everything is done before I go. Anyways, I am just going to get ready for bed, finish my book, and I will chat with y'all tomorrow. Okay, hello, I'm back. It is now Thursday afternoon. I just finished editing and uploading um, for my main channel. I actually uploaded three videos back to back, like three days in a row on Tuesday on my main channel, Wednesday, Patreon, and then today, main channel again. 
um, and they were all like long videos, like 45 to 60 minute kind of thing. So I am just kind of feeling like, whew, I'm glad that I got that video up. Now the only editing that I have to do is um, for this vlog so that I can get that uploaded before I head out of town for this weekend. Um, I am, however, gonna be really in a time crunch when I get back because I don't have anything prepared to upload on Monday or Tuesday next week, which normally I like to upload Monday or Tuesday. Um, I usually like to do one upload earlier in the week and then one later in the week. And then when I have a Patreon upload, which is twice a month, I do it on Wednesdays. I'm thinking about changing that because I feel like my schedule is just kind of like when I upload on Tuesday and Thursday and then it's like with the Wednesday Patreon. I don't know. Um, I need to, I feel like I need to sit down and really reevaluate my schedule because I am feeling just like a little like, uh, I don't know, burnt out, I guess. But that's just so like uh, to say because I, I hate whenever I complain, I hate complaining about my job because I, I just, I'm like very, very aware of how like privileged. Anyways, that's a whole other story. Um, <clears throat> but I'm, the reason that I'm hopping on here right now is because I have a couple of packages that I've been waiting to open. So I thought that we would do that. I have something from Amazon and then I actually have PR from a skincare company, which I'm so excited about because, well, they reached out to me and asked if I wanted something. And I was like, I looked up their brand and it looked really awesome. So I was like, sure, I'll try that out. I feel like I have not been paying a lot of attention to my skincare, to my skin. So yeah, maybe this will inspire me and I'm really excited to check them out because they're vegan and everything. So um, I guess we'll start with that one since I'm talking about it. So it's from a brand called Three Ships, which I believe is a Canadian company as well. So that is um, awesome. And yeah, this was gifted obviously, but let's open it up. Ooh. I filled out like a little questionnaire of what of about my skin, but I don't actually know what they sent. So let's see. Ooh. Wow, oh my gosh, this like branding is so cute. This whole box. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm assuming that these are for brightening, which is one of the things that I said. It says 100% plant and mineral based. They're cruelty free, traceable ingredients, B Corp certified and a woman owned business. How cool is that? Okay, so let's pull out the first thing here. So this is their Brighter Days Red Algae and Avocado Biodegradable Eye Masks. Are these like the, in the individual like little things that you put? It says use two to three times weekly. Oh my gosh, I'm so curious about this. I don't have any eye products. Okay, I guess I'm doing it. We're gonna open it up and see what's in here. Oh, okay. There's another little thing to lift here. I'm scared that something's gonna, oh my gosh, I'm scared. Okay, let's just gently I'm scared, you guys. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, they are like individual little things that you put under your eyes. That's so fun. Look at them. This is so satisfying and exciting to me for some reason. I literally cannot wait to try this out. I'm definitely gonna be using it tonight. It says these biodegradable eye masks help visibly depuff, brighten, and hydrate the delicate under eye area, leaving you looking refreshed and energized. Apply to clean skin and leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. Remove eye masks and gently pat any excess serum into skin. When finished, place the used hydrogels into warm to hot water for 10 minutes. They'll dissolve and the water can simply be poured down the drain. That is so, so cool. Wow. Super, super excited about this one. How fun. 
And then next we have the Super, Th Super Fruit Lactic and Multi Fruit 8% AHA Exfoliating Mask. Um, I'm not currently using any masks, so I am excited to try this one out. It says a gentle exfoliating mask for all skin types. Superfruits exfoliating rice powders polish the skin surface while fruit-based AHAs brighten and remove dead skin cells. Lactic and fruit acids gently resurface and renew dull and congested skin. That was one of my issues that I reported to them on the little thing. Um, just like dull texture, like I just want brightening and just like a smoother kind of glowy. I know that this camera especially is really bad for like making my skin look so much better than it actually is but it's really if i go close you can see like it's textured there's dark marks um it's not perfect by any means not that anyone's skin is perfect or is supposed to be perfect but you know what i mean when i'm sitting in front of the window and i'm like this far from the camera it makes my skin just look like it creates this illusion but really it's just lighting and the camera. Anyways, it says lactic and fruit acids gently resurface. Oh yeah, I already read this. While well, aloe vera soothes and hydrates. Leave on for up to five minutes or up to two minutes for sensitive skin. Ooh, I'm super excited to try this out as well. I love that they sent me these two products. I feel like these are things that I'm genuinely gonna use. I'm excited to use. And it's not like a whole brand new skincare routine. Like it's just like a couple of things for me to try out. So that's really cool. Probably take a picture of this for my stories or something, which I literally have not been active. <laughs> like last, the last vlog, I was like, oh, I'm trying really hard to be active on Instagram. And I was like posting on there, doing really well with that. And then I just completely fell off of it. I don't even know what happened. I just, I don't know. Like I said, I've just been feeling like a little burnt out, a little uninspired. So hopefully that will pass soon. Anyways, let's open up my Amazon package. I think I know what's in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, I forgot about multiple of these things in here that I ordered. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be the cookbooks. Okay, this is actually so fun. Okay, I was wondering why the box was so big. So I got a couple of cookbooks. Um, because as y'all know, I am, well, I'm into cooking, but recently I've been getting more into like making stuff from scratch. I mean, not really, <laughs> but I'm like dipping my toe and just kind of wanting to explore more things like that. Like I've started making my own jam, which by the way, currently, uh, we have a blackberry jam that I made and it is so, so good. Now I've done tayberry, strawberry, and blackberry, and they've all been just delicious. But anyways, this whole like gardening journey um, has really just made me appreciate growing my own foods and just um, getting me, it's gotten me more curious about making things from scratch. So I grabbed this cookbook, which is the Homemade Vegan Pantry, The Art of Making Your Own Staples. So it's literally a cookbook that is about that, like about making um, things from scratch. So. I'm really excited to check this out. Yeah, there's like tons of different condiments, um, like creams, milks, um, different types of soup stocks. Like it looks very, very stunning. So I'm super excited to go through this. What else is there? Oh wow, there's even different like meat substitutes, different like tofu recipes, um, tempeh, veggie dogs, that's so cool. There's pasta and then there's a grain section with granola, pancakes, different types of breads. Um, and then there's like baking desserts kind of stuff. So looks like there's a ton in here. I'm really excited to flip through this and find, ooh, fig and lavender jam. Wow. So yeah, that's the first book that I picked up from Amazon. It was on sale. These were actually both on sale. I wasn't sure. I was like, I had them in my cart or my like save for later thing. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get them. But then I saw that they were on a really good deal. So I went ahead and grabbed them. The second one is a vegan bread book because I really, <laughs> at some point here, I really want to try making my own bread. Um, 
I just, I don't know. I just, I'm so intimidated by it. I need to do some more research. I don't even know if my sourdough starter is alive anymore. I think it is. I think it is, but I kind of forgot about it for a while. And then I went to throw it out, but then I looked up like, how do you know if your sour, sourdough starter is or not? And from what I read online, it sounded like, based on the assessment of mine, it sounded like it was still okay. So I just fed it and I've been continuing on. I need to check on it today actually. But I need to actually use it because like I'm like feeding this thing and keeping it around and I haven't even I haven't even made bread yet. So um these I looked at the reviews and it said that they're pretty straightforward recipes. So I thought it would just be a nice book to kind of have on hand. And it's nice that everything in here is already vegan. It's really easy to veganize most recipes. Like I'm pretty I can pretty much take any recipe and veganize it but um obviously it's just nice when everything is already vegan okay and then there's a few other goodies in here this is a fall halloween kitchen rug set so it comes with two rugs in here one i'm gonna put in front of the um sink like at the island and then the other one i'm gonna put hopefully they'll fit because it's kind of like a narrow spot they should but the other one I'm gonna put in front of the stove. I just thought it would be cute to have, first of all, I love having rugs in the kitchen because it's just cozy when you're standing there cooking or washing up or whatever. Um, so anyways, so I thought it'd be cute to just have some festive ones. I really wanna bust out our fall slash Halloween decor probably next week, which might sound really early, but it's September. It'll be September next week. So you know what? Once we're in September, it's fair game, I feel. So yeah, I'm gonna open these um, after I'm done showing you the rest of this stuff and we'll see what they look like. Okay, the next two things probably don't seem very exciting, but I am very excited about them. So these are phone mounts technically but i'm going to be using them for my camera um, my new vlog camera which i'm not currently using but hopefully i'll be using it again soon i was just having troubles like trying to figure out the audio i'm so used to my current setup with this mic and everything and i know all the settings and it just works very well for me but trying to figure out the new one took a little bit of trial and error to figure out how i like it um but I have, been, I did some testing with that camera, trying to like figure out the audio settings earlier this week. So hopefully the next vlog, I will be, I'll be back to using that camera because, oh my gosh, it was so nice vlogging with that camera. It's just so small and portable. And this is going to make it even more portable because I got, so I have a magnet, like a magnetic case like holder on that camera. So right now it's literally stuck to my fridge, just chill in there, but I can stick that camera so many places. It's just amazing having that um, magnet on it. So I went ahead and got the MagSafe mounts so that I can just stick my camera onto these. So I got one for the car and one for, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll bring that camera this weekend when we go away. That would be fun. Um, so I got one for the car and then I got, this one is just for the bathroom mirror. I do currently have a phone mount on our bathroom mirror, but it is like, it's like a, so this is a suction that goes on the mirror and then it's just the MagSafe like magnetic portion. Um, but the one that I currently have in the bathroom is a suction on both ends. So it has to literally like suction to my phone case. It's kind of annoying, honestly. It'll be nice to just be able to use this because I can use this with my phone or my camera. Um, so I'm probably going to take that one off or maybe I'll put that in like, because we have two bathrooms. So maybe I'll put one in each and then I could always just, if I wanted to stick my phone on there or whatever. But the suction one that I currently have doesn't work with the camera because the suction is too big. But yeah, so just a couple of things to kind of make vlogging easier and just make it so that I can talk to y'all in different spaces and yeah, get different clips and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. And I think that that is it in this box. So wow, that was more exciting than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were just going to be doing the um, cookbooks and the skincare, but I'm very impressed, very happy with everything. So I'm going to go try out these rugs in the kitchen and then the rest of my day, so it's currently 3.46, it's already getting kind of late, but I think for the rest of my day, I am just gonna be doing plant watering because we're leaving tomorrow. Um, like not, not early because my boyfriend's working a half day, so we'll be leaving probably like early afternoon tomorrow and heading out, but I need to have all of the plants watered. I'd like to have the house like fairly tidied up. And then I also 
need to edit this vlog, which I feel like I don't even have that much footage for this blog vlog, but I'm gonna try to splice in some footage that I can salvage from the last vlog that I didn't post. So we'll see how it turns out. But yeah, let's go try out these rugs. It's probably gonna be dirty under here. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to run the vacuum. But this is a rug. I'm actually obsessed with this rug, so I'll just move this to somewhere else in the house for now. And then when it's not, like after October, I'll probably just put this rug back. Or maybe I'll get like a cute, like um, Christmassy version of this if I can find something I like. I feel like it's hard for me to find Christmas decor that I like. Like Halloween stuff, I love so much of it, but Christmas, it's kind of hard. Anyways, um, so this is a rug that I've had for such a long time. I actually got this uh, at like a fundraiser event for, I think one of the farm sanctuaries that we have on the island. This was like years ago now, and I've just always kept it. I've had this in like five different places that I've lived, but this is actually made by somebody out of bed sheets, like out of thrifted, bed sheets which is so cool and i just love it so much so um i wonder how like i wonder if i could like learn to do this i don't know i'm just obsessed with this rug it's faded a lot because we wash them every couple of weeks in the washing machine but it's just so cool so i don't know if anyone else has anything like this or like makes anything like this but yeah shout out to my rug that i've had for years that i'm obsessed with okay i need to go get the vacuum quick Okay, for the reveal. Oh my gosh, how cute. This is so cutie. Okay, which one do I put where? I feel like this, well, I don't know. No, I guess the long one should go like along the island. Is there a particular way to do this? I don't know. That will have to flatten out over time. Oh my gosh, this is so, oh yeah, then this one would like fit in front of the stove. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to bust out the rest of our fall stuff. Okay, I just looked on the like, oh, I've also busted out my pumpkin apron as well. I was wearing that the other day. Um, I looked at some of their views and a lot of people have it the other way, like have this short one in front of the sink. So maybe I'll swap it. Okay, well, wait, let's get a look at this first. So this is, don't mind my messy kitchen. I'm just trying to show you the whole, the whole overview. Um, so this is what it looks like with the long one in front of the sink and the small one in front of the oven. I feel like it might make sense to reverse them though because I'm like moving, walking along this. Like when you're at the sink, we're mostly just standing here, right? In one spot. But over here when I'm cooking, I'm like moving to the counters and stuff. I don't know. Am I overthinking it? <laughs> Anyways, let's just switch them, just to see what it looks like. Okay, there's what it looks like reversed. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think I kind of liked it the other way better. I mean, it's cute both ways, I guess. Um, anyways cast your votes in the comments down below let me know which way i should put it short one by the sink or short one by the oven whichever comments i get the most of that's the way that i will configure it
So I put back all of the cute things that I had found. And do you know what we're leaving the store with? This monstrosity. <laughs> this is what we're leaving the store with. I really want that pumpkin cast iron, but I didn't get it. I did, however, find these cute jack-o'-lantern kitchen towels um, in the checkout line, so. At least we got something for the kitchen. We're gonna have to put away all of our other towels that aren't fall Halloween towels because our like kitchen towel drawer is over. God, you guys it is storming again it's storming again this is the third time <gasps> this week this is so crazy I feel like you can't even see the rain on the camera, but it is pouring rain. First of all, I wanted to show you my freaking nails because I am literally obsessed with this polish. So I did what I was talking about last night. I did the strengthener and the base coat and then I went to bed and this morning I woke up and while I was having my coffee, I went ahead and did um, this color. So this is Chemical X. Let me show you in the light. Kinky flakies in here. It is such a phenomenal shade. I think that this might be my like number one favorite that I've ever tried from Mooncat. I was shook when I started applying it.
Okay, hello, good morning. It is the next day. I am currently trying out the eye depuffing brightening pads that I got yesterday. They feel really nice and cooling so far. So yeah, this is gonna be my first time trying them out. Actually, they're almost ready to take off. So I'll be able to take them off soon. But I wanted to hop on and wrap up the vlog here because it's pretty much edited up until this point. I just need to finish off the editing, the final touches, um, do the like beginning intro thing. That's like my favorite thing to edit when it comes to the weekly vlog is the little like snippet with the music at the very beginning. I love that. So yeah, I have to do that kind of stuff and then that's done. And then just wrapping up other things so that we can leave this afternoon. Um, still have to do some plant watering today. That's like the big main thing that I need to get done. I've already watered the garden and the outside plants. Um, so that's good. I've also been in the midst of doing my nails this morning while I was working on some editing. So I've removed the polish and I've put on the nail strengthener, but I honestly don't know if I'm going to have time to do the whole painting, like polishing part, because I don't know if I'm going to have time to wait for it to dry before... I have to do other tasks because a lot of the stuff I have to do is hands-on. I'm like, you know, doing laundry, watering plants and stuff. So I might just bring the nail polish with me and do it tonight when we get there. Um, I'm thinking that that's probably the best option, but let me show you what color I picked out to do next. I'm really excited. Okay, so I was going to do Dark Horse, which is a stunning brown by Mooncat. I love it so much. Like, it's one of my favorites from them, which really surprised me because I was just not expecting to love a brown nail polish so much, but it is stunning. I highly recommend that one from them. I was going to do that because it just felt like it was very just like on theme because we're going to stay in the woods this weekend. We're transitioning into fall. I was like, that will be perfect. But then I was like, I have all these nail polishes that I want to get through that I haven't tried yet. So I ended up just randomly picking one out from my nail polish crate, which it needs to be organized still. And the one that I picked out, I'm actually so excited about. This is Vaporize, obviously by Mooncat. And it's one of their stunning, like really shifty metallics. I haven't tried this one before, like I said, so I cannot wait. I think that this is just gonna be gorgeous. And this also kind of suits the like going into fall vibes as well. It's kind of like goldy green. Um, yeah, it looks stunning. I'm pretty sure that I got this for Christmas last year. I think this is discontinued though. So I'm so sorry, but I don't think that they sell this one anymore. Um, which is sad, but yeah, I think I got that for Christmas last year from my boyfriend. I always have like a moon cat wish list. Well, I might not this year because 
I've been getting a lot of moon cap polishes this year, so I probably won't need more. Although there is still a lot that I want, but yeah, sometimes you just need to reel it in a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, um, do I have anything else to say for this vlog? Yes, I do. I do actually, I just want to, oh yeah, you won't be able to see the nail polish because I'm literally ending the vlog right now. So next week, or if you follow me on Instagram, I'll probably post it on my story. But um, let me pop you back onto this tripod and I'll go show you the book that I started last night. My room is such a mess and I don't know if it is going to be cleaned up by the time it's time for us to go. Anyways, the book that I started last night, I did indeed go with the thriller that I had on Libby. Um, that is going to expire, I think, tomorrow. Um, but I turned the Wi-Fi off on my Kobo, so we'll see if it stays with me. But it is The New Couple in 5B by Lisa Unger. I've been wanting to read this one. I almost bought it. Um, but I've been wanting to read this one for quite some time now. I remember looking for it at the bookstore and they never had it. And then once they did have it, I already had it on, like I was already on the list for the library copy, so I didn't end up getting it. But I've heard people absolutely love this thriller and I'm very intrigued by it because it is a creepy apartment setting. I don't really know the plot or what it's about. I just know it's creepy apartment vibes. And that's one of my favorite like tropes or like, yeah, themes for horror or thrillers like Lock Every Door by Riley Sager is one of my favorites. I just love spooky apartment buildings. So um, I'm gonna give that one a go. It seems like the reviews are really polarized. Like a lot of people love it, but a lot of people really didn't like it. So that always makes me really curious to see what I'm gonna think about it. I'm literally only on chapter two. I've only read one chapter, so I do not have any thoughts yet, but I'm excited to keep reading that. So I'm obviously gonna bring that with me this weekend. And I'm going to bring, I think, the God of the Woods um, as my like physical read. So bring two books with me this weekend. We'll see how much reading I get done though, because it is, I think, supposed to be really nice weather. Um, so we might end up doing more just like outdoorsy kind of stuff. When we go to this place in the winter, we do a lot of just like reading and playing games and hanging out and being cozy. But since it's like the last nice weekend and it's supposed to be sunny, I think we might do more kind of like out door stuff and like walks with the dogs and go to the beach and stuff so we'll kind of see but yeah i'm gonna bring my other my vlog camera so hopefully i will get some footage for the road trip so that will be next week's vlog but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching i always appreciate your support on the weekly vlogs and i so appreciate your comments i love reading them so yeah just thank you so so much for being here and i look forward to seeing you next week Bye.